for the record. I love to talk from this book called How White Folks Got So Rich. Somebody say, it's no wonder. It's no wonder. It wasn't because they worked hard. It was really, it was because they was hardly working. Talk back to me, somebody. I want to remind you and just tell you just a few things in terms of laws and legislations that were directly or indirectly having to do with the codification of our oppression after they claimed they freed us from chattel slavery, yes? Just a few of those things is what they call this Indian land grab that directly and indirectly affects us. In fact, the great Dr. Claude Anderson reminded us what? He said that those Indian, uh, the, the Indian laws and treaties, actually they're provisions for black folks too. He told us there was a such things as $5 Indians, right? Yeah. Where white folks was paying $5 so that they could get the benefits that was actually meant for some of us. Some of the original black, uh, the original Indians are what? Black folks and there was a provision for us. He told us in his powerful books that not not only that, that it was the Indians themselves, the five dollar ones and the otherwise that were actually enslavers. They were the ones that was catching us. We were told that the U.S. government gave them money and resources to pay us and to free us and even they refused. So they owe us too. And then I had a meeting just a couple of months ago with presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy. 